Alaska lost in the semifinals, trying to make some history for her country and get into the European finals, was denied that route. So now she comes back into the bronze medal match number one. The Netherlands in the blue, France in the red with Debian. Stop, no finger, red, blue, okay. Alaska in on that leg, and she will get the first two. Open leg. Quick little pick, use the head to create some motion on the upper body. Got her opponent stepping with that right leg. Once that weight went to the right leg, immediately picked it. Back onto their feet as we are just underway. First period, a busy night from Bucharest, Romania. Fifth day of these European Championships. Final day for the women. Tomorrow and Sunday, the Greco-Roman category will be wrestled to its completion. And Alaska coming into the semifinals had an opportunity to be the first wrestler from Holland in the women's wrestling category to make it to a finals, though she lost, still trying to make history here and pick up a medal for her country. Red, contact, okay. Warning given to France. Two nothing lead, Blasco with that early takedown. That's been it in this first period. Next whistle on France, and Alaska will get an opportunity to get on the, that shot clock and get a point. Action. And you're seeing Deven right there attack that top hand of the Russian tie. Usually you're taught to attack the bottom hand, but either way she gets a break in the action and breaks in the tie, but looking to get back to that Russian tie right there is Blaska. Seen a lot of the women like to go into that two on one Russian tie. And Eric, off that, what are some of the the more common steps to, to build off that particular tie up? Well, really pulling the wrist down to the mat here. It's it's push pull with the Russian tie when you're in here. Um, trying to get the wrist down to the mat, get a front headlock from there, or of course you could cr come across the back. It's it's widely used because there's so many variables that you can go off of with that Russian tie, really anything, swing, single, high crotch, you name it. It's just moved to, it's a move used to get your opponent off balance. You head to the second period. The Holland wrestler leading two to zero. No, you're a Greco-Roman fan, you enjoy today? I did, especially that first match with Romania. That, that was a good one. Tita, correct? Tita, you got this place fired up, big four point throw. Okay. There you see the pick and the two. That was the only offense for Blaska oh. in that first period, but that was the only offense for either wrestler. So that's quite all right with the Netherlands. They go into the second and final period up to nothing. Even can get something going for France. Hasn't taken many shots. She's been warned verbally for passivity, so she could get on the hook early if she doesn't get something started. Inside trip by Blaska. Tried to hook it up. Two nothing. Our score. Period number two. Blaska moves in a little bit tighter. Is that right arm of France? Two on one. And a nice slide by there by Deben. And she's in a position if she can clear that leg to maybe get two. You can bet 
Glasgow's going to cramp down on that leg. Now she elevates it up. Nice recovery by the Netherlands in a position and out of bounds they go. And that should be four for France. Let's see if they confirm it. They do. 4-2. Oh, terrific scramble toward the edge of the mat. A little bit of life for Deben. So that was counter offense to the counter offense, back to the counter offense, and she picks up the big four. Changes the match completely now, because now Blaska needs an, an, an additional takedown, including the one that she just received right there. So Blaska with a little bit of a renewed surgence gets the two, but as Eric alluded, not out of the woods yet, tied at four. First criteria is the biggest move throughout the course of the match. That's that four point throw we just saw from France. Tied at four. Beautifully done. Alaska. Head to head with her French counterpart. Forehead to forehead. Eyes up looking into one another's eyes as they think of their next position. And the official said that's a little bit too long in that position, so he'll break them up. Two wrestlers quickly re-engage. One big move, that's been it for Deben. There's the overhook, she's got that two on one again. Right arm, France trying to clear it out of there, but when you clear it, you can't get off balance. You gotta be careful, you just can't carelessly flop it away, otherwise, quickly switch into a takedown and you'll be in some trouble. So you gotta be very cautious when you have the arm locked like this. Even drops low as that leg went in on a trip opportunity. And coming around for two and grabbing the lead is Blaska. And that all came from getting that leg out too. We saw a couple of times last night where the wrestler wasn't able to get her leg out. No points were awarded. And Blaska does a good job to get her leg out and pick up the 6-4 lead. And how about this, if she's able to pick up this win here, hold on for these next 30 seconds. She'd become the first wrestler since 1988 from the Netherlands to medal at a European championship. She has a couple of seventh place finishes, but Liney Vanderhoist back in Dijon at the 1988 European Championships claimed a bronze medal. That's their last one. Special moment for the Netherlands, up by two, six to four. Alaska has to be feeling pretty good. I think she's been the better wrestler on their feet. So Debian won't be able to get it done. 31 long years, and the Netherlands will be bringing a medal back home. You think Jessica knows that? Absolutely. I'm sure she's a student of the sport, especially for the Netherlands, knows the history of what she just accomplished. Congratulations, Jessica Blaska. The